Okay, this is an overview video of the KFX series uh, relay controller with four onboard relays. This controller uh, is designed to give you a programmable key fob solution. In other words, you can control these relays based on the different key fobs that we have available. Um, the one, two, three, four, and five, and eight button key fobs that you see here all have a 750 foot range. Uh, this key fob has a thousand foot range and I've actually tested this range to make sure that it is exactly what the manufacturer uh, which is Lynx Technologies uh, claim and it, it actually does exceed uh, what they've stated in their specifications. Now these um, the KFX module is here and this is what actually receives the key fob commands. Most of what you're going to use on the controller is really just the power supply and the relay connections and the KFX module. The KFX module we're going to pull out here in just a minute and we're going to put it in another uh, board for so that we can configure different commands into it. But for right now, I'm going to give you just a, a brief overview of how these uh, the different functions that you can program into the remote controls for the KFX series controllers. Um, first thing I need to say is the KFX module can associate up to 40 remotes. So you can have 40 different remotes can be tied to the KFX module. Every remote will do exactly the same thing. It's not possible for each remote to have a different function. So keep that in mind when, you, when you're planning your remote uh, because every remote is going to work exactly the same way. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of the different features that are available. I'm going to use this remote. It's been uh, paired already with the KFX module. And uh, button 1 is set to turn on relay 1. So when I push button 1, it'll just turn on relay 1. When I push button 2, it'll turn off relay 2. Uh, button 3 was set up as a momentary button. So if I hold it down, the relay will come on, and when I release it, the relay will go off. Number four is a, a toggle button and every time I push it the relay will toggle its state. Uh, number five will activate a relay for five seconds and then after five seconds the relay will turn off. Uh, number six is programmed to flash relay one momentarily. So as long as I hold down button six the relay will flash and when I release the button the relay will stop flashing. Number seven is uh, configured to flash relay one for seven seconds. So if I push the button and release it, it will flash the relay for seven seconds and then it will stop. And pro, uh, button number eight was set up to uh, set the status of relays in a bank. So here you can see it controlling several relays. And uh, this is, this is, um, just basically would let you set the status of all the relays if you want. Now, keep in mind, every button can be configured to do a different thing. Uh, you can control all the relays, but for the uh, purposes of a simple demonstration, I, I focus this configuration just on relay one, but you can talk to any of the relays um, with these eight buttons. So now let's um, let's take a look at how we configure a KFX module. We're gonna, we have a very in-depth article on this that we're going to be posting soon. But for now, we're just going to show you a really quick configuration of pro, of of the KFX using the the base station software. Okay, to configure a KFX module, the first thing we want to do is disconnect power from the relay board and pull the KFX module out of the controller. This will allow us to put the KFX module into a configuration adapter. This is our Zigmo configuration adapter and this is what is used to configure the KFX module. So now that I've got it plugged in, I can run my base station software And Base Station is going to give us the ability to uh, set all the configuration settings inside this controller. Okay, the KFX series uh, configuration control panel is what we're going to use to configure this controller. 
This control panel uh, basically lets us send commands to the relay board. Now, the relay board is a Pro XR series relay board, so it will send, it will accept about any command you want to send to control relays in any way you want. And the guide that we have for KFX kind of shows some of the settings, but uh, to, to kind of just give you an overview of some of the settings, uh, these are the bytes that you would send to the controller for button one, which was to turn on the relay. We wanted to send 254.108.1. And to turn off a relay, we send 254.101. And the, since there are two events per, uh, per button, you can see that there's a press and a release event. So whenever you press the button, you're going to trigger an event, and whenever you release the button, you're going to trigger another event. Sometimes we just want to trigger an, a, an event when a button is pushed, and such as the case for buttons one and two. So button one is going to turn on a relay, but when we release the button, it's not going to do anything. And similar for button two, we're going to turn off the relay, but when we release the button, it's not going to do anything at all. Now, this software actually lets you work with the key fob simultaneously. So if I push button one, you can see that button one sh turns green here. And similarly, button two and button three and button four and button eight, you can see them, you can see them all turn green as you push the different buttons. Now, this just kind of gives you an idea that the key fob is working and all of, everything is ready to go. Now, KFX can actually send any byte of data that you want. If you're not using a ProXR series controller, you may want to choose the raw option. Um, but if you are choosing a ProXR series controller, you probably want to use the NCD API option. Um, now, I'm going to get into this configuration control panel a lot more later on. But this is just a quick overview of how to use a four channel relay board uh, and the KFX configuration system. Please let us know if you have any questions. We will be glad to help and we can even give you some example codes if you, if you get stuck on anything.